When you were in jail, did you have a plan when you got out? Nah, I, well, I knew I was going to rap. I knew I was going to give the music a shot because they used to give, uh, they used to do uh, like shows in the penitentiary. So I'd do a show here, there for the, for the joint and everybody fucked with it. So like the, even the guards, they'd tell me, they'd catch me off, pull me to the side and be like, man, I don't even like rap music. These white guards, they like, I don't even like rap music, but I like what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Keep it up. So once I knew that I could take over a crowd like that, even the people who don't even listen to that genre of rap, I knew I had something. So I said, I'm going to go ahead and shoot for it. And I'm glad I did because I made a whole lot of money doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I never got rich doing it, but I made hundreds of thousands of dollars on top of hundreds of thousands doing doing something that came so easy for me. Selling out of your trunk, this was back in the selling out of your trunk days? Yeah, we were selling selling CDs and all that, just selling it. Then a lot of shows, a lot of, uh, got booked. I done been everywhere. I done been on all types of tours with everybody. I got videos all on on you know, uh, world star YouTube, millions of views, you know what I'm saying, shit with Yo Gotti, Waka Flocka, Gucci Man, French Montana, uh, shit Twister, like Trader Truth, Alley Boy. You can't, yeah, I mean, it's it's a bunch of artists, like you can't, it's so many. Uncle Murder, I done did music with everybody, really, and was respected, so I never paid for a feature. You know what I'm saying? Outside of working with everybody that I wanted to work with in the city from Lil Durk to Chief Keith to Bump J, L.E.P., Bogus Boys, uh, shit, everybody, really. P. Rico, F.B.G. Duck, uh, everybody. The shorties from the shorties to the guys that's older than me, the, the Crucial Conflicts, the Do or Dies, the, the, you know, Twister, Shauna, all, everybody in the city. Like, you can't find nobody you know what I'm saying? G Herbo. And worked with him. Got songs with him too. Like everybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a big homie for real. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Definitely, man. Um, speaking of, uh, you mentioned P. Rico. He just got shot recently. Yeah, he got shot. I talked to him. That's my little brother. He's doing all right? Yeah, he's doing good. He's bouncing back. You know what I'm saying? He's bouncing back. All Trying right. to keep him focused. How, how did. Um... Uh, you know, Little Mister also. I knew Little Mister. I had a song with him too. That was my man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, what did you think of all that that situation? It's unfortunate that a lot of these guys die before they even really got a chance to live. You know what I'm saying? I tried to help all of them on every side. I don't see no colors or no no BD or GD or none of that shit. I just see young niggas just trying to make it. You know what I'm saying? Like even Mimo 600 before he uh start buzzing, you know, he wanted to do something with El Hitter. I linked that up. And they, you know, that that video, over a million views, uh, locked in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. And there's a lot of Chicago rappers, man, that get killed out here, man. It's really unfortunate. Yeah, too many. Too many. I mean, talented. Yeah. Talented, man. I mean, you know, if you go back, you know, L.A. Capone and... Yeah. You know, if you go back, a lot of dudes, man. Yeah. It's really unfortunate. Yeah. A lot of talent. It is. Recently, Juice World passed away. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, man. You know, uh, he was doing his thing. He was one of the biggest artists in the world. You know what I'm saying? Right here from, from here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. What did you think when you seen all that? It looks like that somebody <clears throat> snitched on him. And then that's why the cops were called, or you know, and then he. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It, it, that's an unfortunate situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> I never got to meet him. But, you know what I'm saying? G Money and Lil Bibby, like I, I know them. You know what I'm saying? I know that they had him. So, my condolences to them. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because that was a big loss for him. Like, a, a real big one. Yeah, I heard he has a lot of unreleased music. Yeah, yeah, so, so they, they don't still check a bag from it, but, you know, still, Yeah. he not there, you know? Yeah, it's a fucked up situation, man. Yeah. Yeah, drugs, man. <clears throat> drugs in, in hip-hop, you know? Hopefully it slows down. 
It don't need stop to. rapping about it as much. It, it need to. It need to. You know, it need to. I always preach that. That's what that's what I preach. You know what I'm saying? Like the artists that we got right now, with the company that we working with right now, we try and lead them the right way. Not trying to give them no no uh, fairy tale life, cause I, I let them know the ending that you're gonna get. It's not right. gonna be good. You know. Who, who all are you working with now? We got uh, this artist, Big Boss Demo. We got Devil. We got CL Cap. We got Rebellious uh, Chantel. We got uh, Jelani. We got um, a number of them. But the biggest one that y'all probably know is, is El Hitter. And uh, I want you all to to, to uh, meet, you know, the guy who, who handling all the El Hitter business. You know what I'm saying? Will Double O. He handling everything, like from the bookings to decision making to standing on top of everything, his day to day actions and functions like he, he working he on top of his shit and i fall back and let him handle it you know what i'm saying he a part of groovy gang entertainment like he y'all gonna get to see a lot of them you know what i'm saying the only time i step in is when it's something that they may not have knowledge of or something that they need help of on on or help doing then i step in and handle that but for the most part you know he he doing this thing you know what i'm saying there's somebody that y'all gonna get to know and get to see a lot he working, you know what I'm saying? I, I got to salute him. He working, he grinding. And, you know, I, I feel good because I, it's not often where you can lay back and know that things getting taken care of. Like, I don't have to pop out to the shows. I don't have to because he got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I got to oversee it or come and oversee shit, then that mean that man who doing the job really not fit for doing the job. But this dude, I don't have to worry about shit. He be on top of it. You know what I'm saying? So, El Hitter, he got a lot of new shit coming out for 2020. It's some new heat. You know what I'm saying? New project dropping called Hitter versus Hitler. You know what I'm saying? Going from his old name to the new name to show the differences and see which one the people, which one the people was feeling the most, which one the people want to hear. Yeah, 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 I like El Hitter. Yeah. I, I, we we interviewed him real quick right. in L.A. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was out there with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I like, I like what he's doing, man. I like his yeah, music. Yeah, yeah, he working. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It took a, a, a few stumbles here and there, but I think I think trials and tribulations build a man. You know what I'm saying? I think when you go through certain things and fall down and get back up, it make you appreciate the success just that much more. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm excited to see what he got coming up. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited to see him and the team work, to be real with you. Yeah, me I'm, too. I'm, I'm sitting back and watching it, you know what I'm saying? Still controlling certain plays, but they got it. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting back watching it. You know, that's what I love doing, sitting back watching other bosses build, you know what I'm saying? And, and where they can bring up the next generation up under them to bring them up to become bosses. and. And, and, and leaders and shit, that's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? I, it's all about empowerment. Helping your people, putting them in a position to win, showing them how to do things versus just doing everything, walking them through the, the, the right way to, nah, don't do that, to go that way. You know what I'm saying? Having people that, that listen, you know what I'm saying? That's the biggest thing. A lot of people don't like to listen, but man, they, he, you know, he listen. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good year, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me to come from where I come from and to overcome, you know, a six-time convicted felon, to overcome everything that I that, that I done been through and to be here and making great money, living good, taking care of my kids, you know what I'm saying, bank account, sitting good, I'm blessed. I ain't got, I ain't got nothing to complain about. Man, that's good, man. It's yeah. good to see. It's good to see you doing good man, after. I appreciate it. Everything. Yeah, you know, better late than never. You that's know what true. I'm saying? Some, some people go their whole life and never change. You know what I'm saying? They was a young fool and they died being old fools. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, I'm just glad that I was blessed to see it in time to actually enjoy the fruits of some of my labor. Yeah. yeah. What, what were some of the positive things you've seen growing up? 
I seen a hardworking mother that 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 did everything that, that in her power to make sure that we had everything that that we needed to to be successful in life. You know what I'm saying? I, I found brotherhood with this street shit. You know what I'm saying? Some of those guys are my brothers forever. You know, and they, they go a whole lot further than just the gang shit. Like me and, and, and BFN, and Johnny Valentine, and and. and you know, Mac Mecca and all, like, my brothers. You know, it's a lot of it's a lot of us that still around and we still living. None of my immediate circle was killed out in the streets. Like the immediate circle was, was wasn't wasn't killed. We all here. That let me know that we did something right by the man upstairs. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's 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 good. Yeah, we all Definitely. still here and we still living and and doing good things, man. You know, that let me know that the man upstairs, he smiled on us, you know what I'm saying? Because we weren't bad guys. We we did what we had to do to survive. But every war that we ever been in was sparked by somebody else, and I think that's why we was victorious. You know, even though, even saying you're victorious, you still lose, whether the, some guys killed or locked up and doing that time, but overall, we always came out on top, and that's a blessing within itself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I appreciate you man, taking I your time. I appreciate you. This man. is a good interview, man. I know uh, the streets, Chicago. Yeah, the is city gonna love, love it. Me. I love, I love, the, I love the city. You know what I'm saying? It's my, it's my, it's my city, man. I love my city. I love the people in it. I'm here to help. You know what I'm saying? And uh, man, that's just it, man. You already know, man. Go follow me. On Instagram at Bodil BSM, Facebook at Bodil, Snapchat Bodil BSM, Twitter at Bodil, uh, RTSTalent.com. If you got any any uh, hot music, any hot artists, go there. And uh, before we uh, close out, I'm gonna let y'all uh, uh, hear a little bit from my man Will Double O. He gonna tell you where to find him at and everything that he do in the day to day. Works with El Hitter, man. I appreciate you, man. I really do, man. Thank Anytime you. you need me for anything, man, I'm here, man. Double salute. And keep doing what you're doing, appreciate man. I'm you, rocking bro. with you. Appreciate it's all you, love. man. 100. For sure. Uh, yeah, like I was telling you, this is my man, Will Double O. I'm going to let him tell you about it. See, what I do, man, I don't just try and take the, the, the shine and the spotlight. Like, I like to let the team and the people that's around me Shine too, that's what it's about. So tell them what you do and where to find you at and all that, bro. Man, I'm the manager of uh, El Hitter and Groovy Gang Entertainment. Uh, you can reach me at uh, the IG, Mr. Brian two, underscore 24. Uh, that's pretty much it. You can hit me there uh, or hit me at uh, my Gmail, willbj23 at gmail.com. Reach out to me. You know, we, we, we making a movement this year. We going hard, ten toes down. Ten toes down. That's what it do, man. Be on the lookout. So do not hit me for business with L hitter. You, it's a chain of command. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you might know me as the face, but get used to knowing the face. You know what I'm saying? He gonna handle everything. If he can't handle it, then it'll come to me. But outside of that, hit him up. You got all his information, man. Big you know boss facts.